here hope you're all well so we've looked at contouring and we've looked at slicing but I just wanted to go through when you can and can't use each one so there may be times where you can only use your slice tool and there may be times where it's more beneficial to use your contour tool and there may be times when you need to use both so I've got three images and we're going to start with this image first so you can see that this is a lovely image and it's pretty much one continuous piece now if I wanted to for example remove this swirl here I'm going to have to use my slice tool I'm not going to be able to use my contour tool the reason being is it's one continuous piece and with your contour tool if you click on an item to remove it everything that is a part of that item you are going to remove so if I removed my swirl I'm also going to remove my text so in this instance I'm only able to use my slice tool the problem with that being is I'm going to have real trouble removing this and I'm going to have to slice it in several places so the easy option is to just slice the pieces that meet so I'm just going to slice a little area here so I can slice that and it's then going to make a gap between my letter and my swirl so I'm then able to go into my contour tool and I can just remove my swirl and this will take the whole swirl away just like that so I've had to use both the slice and the contour now you could have sliced it out but you'd have to do it in several stages and so sometimes it's easier just to make a little gap with your slice tool and then you can go in and contour with my pumpkin I could just contour that away or again if I got a circle I'd be able to slice it and the same with this one if I wanted to remove the whole thing I would just go in and contour it but if I wanted to keep maybe this piece and remove this piece I would slice a gap here and then I would go in and contour the piece that I don't want so I've got this image here now I don't want the circle and I don't want these bits I only want the house but the circle is attached to the house and I've got all these pieces here so I've got a couple of options I can go in and either slice or contour these away and then I can slice a bridge between the circle and this piece and I can then contour that away and then I can slice this away or I can do it in less movements so if I get a square and I bring it over here and I place it to where I want my house to kind of be and I drag that across there I can then highlight and slice so I can remove all of that in one motion and of course you need to obviously remove it and then I've got my circle but because it's no longer joined to my house I can just click and I can go to contour I can click my circle away and I'm then left with my house and it's just sometimes you have to look at an image and you have to work out the easiest way to do it with the least amount of movements and it can be done you just have to really think about it so this image is slightly different in that everything is kind of curved and again I can't go in there and do a straight contour but I also don't want kind of straight lines I want to follow that curve round so once you've kind of worked out the way in which it's going to sit nicely you can then go in and slice one side away and just remove those extra pieces that you don't want and you'll see it's got a slightly harsh line but it's not you know it's not overly horrific we can then go in with this side and work out again how we want it to sit and we can just remove these pieces out the way 
and then we can go in highlight all and again we can slice and you can use the same slice piece um, it's just the you can only slice one thing at a time now this image is still all attached together so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to contour and we're just going to remove our circle and then I just want to kind of even off the bottom a bit more so I'm just going to move my square I'm going to go in and find my point of where I want it to kind of be I'm then going to highlight and again I'm going to slice and I've completely changed the way the image looks so with this image there are so many options in which you can kind of play with this if I wanted to remove this I would just go in with a triangle and slice it away if I wanted to remove the outer again I would use the slice tool because it's all attached uh, if I wanted to keep my outer triangle but I want to do a few different things so I'm going to use my contour tool now I want to completely transform the way that this looks and one of the things I'm not happy with is this kind of triangle going all the way around but to try and slice it out is going to be a nightmare so I'm actually going to completely transform the image so if I just click on this piece here it's going to completely change the outside of our image and it's then going to give me more of a triangle but again trying to slice that is going to be just ridiculous so if I then go and click on the triangle it's going to remove it for me and I'm also then going to be left with the original inside image now I can go ahead and transform that even more and I could change so much about it I could completely remove for example this piece and I could do the same this side I could then continue to remove all the pieces or I could just go in and slice it or I can just leave it the way it is which is what I'm going to do and actually I'm going to take it slightly further and do the same kind of thing with these pieces as well if I want to continue removing pieces I can do so so I'm just going to remove those two pieces because I'm not particularly keen on them and I could then go in and remove all my dots or I could change things there is so much that you can do between slicing and contouring and you can use them both in completely different ways you just need to kind of look at the image and work out how you want to change it and what you want your image to end up looking like. As always, I hope this tutorial has been informative. Please do subscribe and I'll see you all again soon.